Hi and welcome to my digital scrapbooking video tutorial. This is Mike from the scrappingguy.com website and in this video I'm going to show you how you can alter the depth of field on a photograph so that the main subject in the front will stand out further and stand out better than the subject in the back. As you can see in this photograph the girl in the front is nice and sharp and the girl in the back she's a little bit blurry but she's still also uh, very sharp as far as the picture is concerned. And what I want to do is take most of this back of the uh, back of the photo and I want to blur it off so that the uh, front photo or the front picture of the girl is a lot um, more defined than anything in the background. And in order to do that I'm going to go over to my polygon tool and I'm going to go up to feather and I'm going to choose let's try 20 and what that'll do is that'll give me a, a softer uh, edge around the cutout or actually around the, the blurred section so that it's not a sharp definition between what is blurred and what isn't and now with my polygon tool I'm just going to kind of go around and trace around the picture of the girl in the front and what you can do is you can click different parts and that will put new points using the polygon tool around the image and when I get to the last one you can see that it's now selected and you can see the marching ants going around the image now right now if I went and I and I blurred the image what would end up being blurred is the inside or the actual girl in the front and that's the opposite that we want to do so now what I want to do is I'm going to go up to select I'm going to click the inverse or you can hit the shift control I buttons and now you can see all of the outside is selected now I'm going to go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and we can see we can make adjustments with the Gaussian blur here and as you can see the more you do it the more it gets blurred out the less you do it we're back to normal so this is a uh, it's up to you you can pick whatever um, amount of blur that you want so I'm just gonna go ahead I don't want it to be too blurred out so it doesn't look natural so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna hit control D to remove the marching ants and as you can see now the outside or the background of the photograph is a lot blurrier than the foreground which is the main subject of the girl that we wanted to get now if you need to you can touch up around um, I know we did the feathering but you can also touch around the edges and to do that we want to go to the blur tool and we can just blow around a little bit closer if we need to depending on the amount of blur that you chose or I'm sorry the feathering that you chose with the polygon tool will determine whether or not you need to do this but just to show you how to do it this would be it with the blur tool so there you have it now we have a, a new photograph that has the foreground uh, in nice and sharp and the background is out of focus uh, which would give us the same appearance as a photograph taken with a very short depth of field for more information about digital scrapbooking come on over to my website www.scrappingguy.com and you can even sign up for our free scrapbooking tip of the week